Okay, for well, OCG right here, uh, a couple things I want to uh, review is the word grab. Right? We well, want to grab initially for this particular OCG. I want you to grab on top of the up here. So this hand, this is your left hand here. Your what's this called? Pinky tank? Because you're going to be this is your pulling and pushing hand here. Your sunny tank here is your short pull. It goes right up on his collarbone here. Why? Because when you move in and your chest moves in, this hand, this hand here is going to draw, his elbow is going to drop onto his chest and your body is going to land here. So you can hang on the guy's shoulder like this. So my head is on one side. So I have this push with my head, this pull down here. So I'm going to hang my body weight. And at the same time, I'm going to hang this way. So, so my arms like this. As my chest goes, I pull down and I use my body weight this way. All right? And you can tell, if I hang my body weight, I don't use my arms to go, yeah, and then try to throw like this, it won't work. I have to use my weight as I move in. One, this steps in the middle. This back leg comes up. As it arrives behind my leg, I drop my head this way, and I hang forward. Now what that does is my body is at a, a slight angle, about 30 degrees, because I want to be able to push this way. If I go one, two, and I hang this way, and it strips down, all I have to do is just push me this way, and then I get thrown backwards. So the weight has to be going at an angle this way. So when, you're, when you grab up high on the shoulder on his bicep, and grab on his, um, his shoulder, I can force his weight down on his heels as I step, and then this comes up this way. See my chest? My chest is square. Your chest has to be square to his. You can see my body this way, like that. So you can see I'm pushing here, like that. It's not like this, because I hook here and keep my head up. He'll just spin me. And like this, he'll throw me behind him. All right? So I need to be able to move this way, like that. And then I can hook the leg. The leg, when you're throwing, as I move in and hang, put the weight, my head is also an appendage. I put my head on his chest, and I'm driving with my head as well. So I got my body, my head, and my momentum going this way. That will put him on his heels. Now this leg all the way from the back leg, hanging. Now this leg, my front leg, my right leg in this case, is going to swing around in a half moon. I'm going to cut. Now, let me stop and say this again. The reaping action. Gari, Ochi Gari, means reap. Like a scythe. So you're going to cut across. So when you cut inside, as I go here, this way, right here. I'm going to cut this way. I'm going to cut it across. See how the leg pops out? That's my, that's my calf cutting across here. So I'm going to take his leg up this way, like that. So I've got here. I move one, two. It's one, two. And then I hang, whoops, I take this leg, and I'm going to cut into it, half the cap. Half the cap. So it's here. And then here. Like that. Here. One, two. See the position? See the weight is on the back of his heels. Here. This one. Here. Here. And he goes right down. Notice how flat and how quickly he goes down. Uh, Jeremy doesn't go like this. Just hop it off. It's not this. He's not hopping it off. I'm walking him like this, and then, and then cutting his leg out. So here. So it's going two, one two, and then here. I'm pulling the driving down. Ochi guard. Give it a shot.